Hi guys, welcome to BISPSolution.com. This is Ashima. In today's session, I'm going to demonstrate a new feature of data management, which is multi-column data load. So before this uh, update, data management supported only multi-period data loading. Now we can load text data and numeric data. Same logic can be applied for multi-column data loading. The only difference would be the file type selection in import format. So my source system is file and my target application is EPBCS and I'm going to uh, load data for multiple accounts. So this is my source file. These are the dimensions and these two dimensions are account for which I'm going to load data. So these are the data for these two accounts. So let's see how to do this. So for opening data management, you need to click on navigator and then under integration section you need to click on data management so initial setups remain same in first step we need to register by source system and in second step we need to register by target application so my source system and my target application is already registered then in next step i need to create import format so i have created my import format already so click on add and provide all the details under details section we create import format for defining layout of the source data file. So provide the name of your source uh, import format, then select your source system, select your target application. Then you need to select file type. My file contains only numeric data. That's why I have selected multi-column numeric data. If your file contains non-numeric data, then you can select multi-column all data type. My file is in CSV format. That's why I have selected comma as delimiter. Click on save. Now we need to define mappings. So for defining mapping, we need, uh, we define mappings to define how source dimension maps to the target dimension. So look at your source file. And here you can see first column holds entity. So I have provided entity as field number one second column holds market so i have provided market as field number two and third column holds plan element so i have provided field number as three fourth column holds products so that's why i provided field number as four fifth one is version so i provide field number as fifth for version these are the two accounts and these are the data columns so which is which is on sixth and seventh To make the multi-column import works, works, we need to pick a driver from add expression. So I'm clicking on pencil icon and I'm clicking on expression type as driver. So I'm selecting driver as my expression type. And in my case, the driver is account. So I'm, I have selected account as my dimension type. Then we need to load data for these account members. So we need to choose these account members. So look at your source file. These are the two accounts, OFS miscellaneous expenses and OFS taxes. So that's why I have selected these two members. So click on search and look, select your plan type. And from here, you can select your account members and then click on add and then just click on OK. Now we need to provide the column number and header row is optional. So I have provided my header row is, is on first. See, look at this. This is my header row. So I have provided field number as one. And these are the data column, which is sixth on seventh column. And then just click on OK. Just click on save. And now we need to create location, period mapping and category mapping so please refer my previous video for uh, learning how to set up all these basic settings so i'll show you my location which i have already created my location name is ebbcs load so just look at my location and then we define period mapping and category mapping so i'll skip this part you can refer my previous video for this and 
now I'm defining data load mapping so for defining data load mapping first I'll select correct POV so select your location then select your period select your category then just click on OK now we define data load mapping we define data load mapping to define how source dimension members maps to the target dimension members so my source dimension members and target dimension members are correct that's why I have defined like mapping for all the dimensions now in next step we need to create data load rule so for creating data load rule you need to click on add and in the detail section you need to provide name of your data load rule select your category then search for your input format and then select your source file and then select your target plant type click on save in next step you need to click on execute so import from source then export to target import from source means data is loading from source and storing into staging table export to target means data fetching from staging and loaded into target application then select your period so my period um, i'm loading data for single period that's why i've selected uh, same period in the start period and end period select your import mode and export mode and then just click on run here we have process ID. Now we need to click on continue refresh until our data gets loaded successfully. So our data gets loaded successfully because check mark is green. Now we move towards data load workbench. Here we can see that our data gets loaded successfully. So I'll show you the output in data grid. So click on navigator and then click on data and then I'll select my data grid from here which is under financials and expense because I have loaded data for okay so I have loaded um, data for expenses expenses account so my data grid name is expense by category i'm clicking on this then here you can see the output our my data gets aggregated so these are the miscellaneous 9 11 expenses and these are the tax accounts so these are the total expenses which are which gets aggregated so hope this video can help you to deal with multi-column data loading thanks for watching if you have any query or questions please comment below or visit our website to engage an expert at the rate www.bispsolution.com